Scene from a Quarantine, Day 2. This is going to be so great. I can read all day. I can stay in my room. And no one's going to say, why don't you go out? Why don't you see your friends? You need to have more friends. Haha, joke's on you. Guess who's going to survive for weeks on their own without talking to anyone? Me. Who couldn't care less about keeping in touch with a single one of their friends? Me again. I wish I could quarantine for the rest of my life. This is going to be easy. Scene from a quarantine, day eight. Day eight. So things are fine. You know, it's one thing to say it's going to be easy to stay in the house when you have the choice to stay in the house, when you could go somewhere if you wanted to. It's a much different kettle baloney when you can't. I actually don't enjoy reading all day. All day. A peculiar concept. We say it, but until you've actually sat and stared at the same page for hours and hours and... I've done things. I've alphabetized my books, organized my closet, put together a clothing donation pile, which is still a pile because I can't take it anywhere, rearrange my posters into themes and made seven dioramas in my spare time. <laughs> what am I going to do tomorrow? Scenes from a Quarantine, Day 13. Or 749, the situation is dire. My parents have retreated to separate areas of the house because of the my meeting. It's more important than your meeting clash of 10 a.m., which followed the why are you wasting toilet paper debate of 8 a.m., which followed the 7.56 a.m. That wasn't 20 seconds exchanged. Send help! Can you believe it? I miss you so much. Not as much as I miss you. I miss you more. I can't believe it. Quarantined. If only they waited one more day for that stupid stay-at-home order. We could have been married. And together. Oh, the rotten luck. Still, we're healthy and well, and this is for the best. We're healthy and well, and this is for the best. Did you get my present? I sent a messenger to your house. Yes, I got it. Aren't we lucky that messengers are considered essential services? Did you get my present? I did, and disinfected it thoroughly. You never have to do that. I'm not sick. You never know. I do know. You could be asymptomatic. You just could have touched something. I'm not sick. You're pretty absent-minded. You could have touched something without realizing. Is that right? You sound testy. <laughs> That's because I am still over healthy and well, and this is for the best. We're healthy and well, and this is for the best. You didn't have to get me a present. Oh, I wanted to. You're the very first boy I've ever bought a present for. I hardly knew what I was doing. Nobody teaches you how to buy presents for the very first boy you've ever bought a present for, especially when you're supposed to be happy with the one your parents threw you at. Nurse taught me a lot of things. Present shopping wasn't one of them. You did fine. I'll even go so far to say you did perfect. Perfect? That's a lot of pressure. This present has to be right. This present is a representation of our relationship. If I got the wrong present, that means my feelings are false. 
Uh, oh, no, no, no. I know your feelings are true, because I can feel them. All the way from your room to mine. Oh, Romeo! Are you... happy with the present you bought? Oh, totally. I got you the absolute best present. I am an awesome gift giver, if I do say so myself. Sounds like you do. It was a little tricky because we've only been dating for a day, but I'm not too worried. Oh, good. Shall I open yours? Whoa, nice wrapping. Love the paper. We'll have to save that. <laughs> Whoa, so much tape. Next time I'll show you how to only use three pieces. You'd be surprised how little you need. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly satisfying to see all these teeny tiny squares and be able to wrap something like a tennis racket, which is not easy. And mm -hmm. Open it! Open it! Please, please, just open it. Please. Oh. You hate it. No. They're socks. I can see that. Well, you always talked about having cold feet and how... Oh, oh, I screwed everything up. Relax. It, it was your first time. I've had more practice. Open mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aren't you gonna admire the wrapping? Nice wrapping? I only used three pieces of tape. A hairbrush? You got me a hairbrush? That hairbrush is specifically designed to get the tangles out of your hair type. It has a non-slip ergonomic handle so that your hand is always in the exact right position. Oh, it's a work of art and a work of science. It's beautiful. I had it engraved with your family crest. Yes, yes you did. Can I ask you a question? I want to clarify something. Oh, you want to learn? I'm touched. Because you're so much better at gifts than I am. Um, a hairbrush is better than socks. I, I had it engraved with your family crest. Everything I own has my family crest. Uh, that is a good present. Sorry, the situation is a bit tense for all of us. The socks are way better. How dare you? A hundred lambs died to get you those socks. Then never wept because I made her redo the pattern three times. That is a mark of fine present chosen with love and care. So, so you can suck it out, you Montague. I'm not sure that I can wear socks lambs died for. I'll hear their death bleeding when I walk. You are possible. You are. You are. You. I need social distancing. You're in your house. How much distance do you need? Maybe we don't really know each other. Maybe the quarantine will show us we don't belong together. <laughs> yeah, maybe we just shouldn't buy each other gifts. M maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I do have an idea for your birthday. What now? Oh. No, you don't understand.
Things are different now. I wish you hadn't called, Miss Douglas. I have to look after my brothers. There's nothing to talk about. We don't have a computer and our internet never works. You could leave a packet of assignments at the door if you want, but I won't be doing them. I told you, I have to look after my brothers. Have a good life, as much as... No, there's nothing to talk about. The... No, 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 you don't. No, stop talking. Nothing you ever say matters. Don't you get it? It's all gone. Everything I planned. Graduate, work at the diner till last second. Pack up my life and escape? Gone. No school, no job, no college. I can't go anywhere. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't leave. No, I have to hang up now. I have to look after my brothers. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Don't do it. No, you don't touch your face. Oh, I won't. I don't want to. Really? Not at all. Not at all? Really? Not even a little bit? The itching isn't driving you crazy? I won't let it. Oh. I understand the severity of our situation. Well? You must be diligent. Right. Don't you think so? Sure, especially when I have friends like you to remind me. These are unprecedented times. I feel that I was made to rise to the occasion in these circumstances of difficulty and strife. I was made to answer these, this call. <laughs> Can't you feel responsibility coursing through your veins to stand and be in this moment more than you ever could as a human being? Fine, I don't want to touch my face. I can't wait to be a better human being. Good. I don't want to, no, no, no. How can you stand? I never realized how much I touch my face, scratch my nose, and rub my eyes. I'm a walking disease factor. I'm hobbited for infection. I'm a power puff of plague. All it takes is a little self-control. Surprised you can't find it within yourself to dig deep and wrestle with your weaknesses. We all must do better, Ren. We all you must... just touched your face. What? You just scratched your cheek. Oh, I didn't. Y you did. Y you, you just touched your face. So what if I did? I wash my hands every 15 minutes. Every surface is wiped down hourly. I've got everything under control. I'm totally germ-free. You've got a weakness like the rest of us. Ah! Today is a good day. Don't touch your face. We all must wrestle with our weaknesses. Urgently live to deal with them. Yeah. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Hello! You. Uh, surprise! You're not welcome here. Get out. Oh, come on now. Aren't you pleased to see me? Not even a little bit. Why would I be pleased to see the thing that started a global pandemic? No, stop. You're making me blush. Why would I be pleased to see a disease in my room? Yeah. Disease is such an, it's such an ugly word. Uh, you can call me Co. It's short for COVID-19. I know what it's short for. It's not the name I would have chosen, but it seems to be on everyone's lips these days. I'm everywhere. Still, I do prefer the short form. Uh, you can call me that. I'm not going to call you anything. We're not friends. <gasps> we could be best friends. Pass. Uh... This is how you treat someone who's been invited into your home. I didn't invite you. Alex, you did. Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Uh, last week. When you snuck out. Shut up. Oh, come on now. I'm not going to tell. I'm your friend. I want you to raise your fist and feel like you're being mistreated by this quarantine. It's awful. I, mean, I can't believe they don't trust us. We can totally do social distancing. 
Resist and break the rules all you want. Push for things to be they were last yesterday, last month, last year. Because when you do, when you go to a party where there's lots of people to talk to and lots of things to touch, it's rather lovely. You're lovely. But we were safe. Yeah, I'm sure you were. No one there was sick. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they weren't. Not visibly, anyway. I wanted to see my friends face to face. I miss them. Yeah, and I appreciate that feeling. I have to thank you. You make my job very easy. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. You may not think much of me now, but we're going to have a lot of time to get to know each other. Well, not a lot of time, but we're going to become great friends. The very best. You'll see. Oh, we're here. That was surprising. Oh, no. Why can't we choose our own groups? Okay, we have 10 minutes, and then we get pulled back into the main session. Our instructions are Whoa, to stop it right there. <laughs> we're not actually working. <laughs> right? No. What? This class doesn't matter. She couldn't make us do anything. <laughs> we do get points just for showing up. How surprising. So, uh, what shows are you guys watching on Netflix? You guys just show up and do the bare minimum and I end up doing everything. Losers. Hey! What did you say? You heard me, but I'll say it again. Losers. Both of you. You wouldn't dare say that to my face. Wouldn't I? Let's try it. You are a waste of space. Is this what I get for wanting to talk about Netflix? Work or don't work, your slow descent into a useless life is none of my business. What happened to you? Just wait till we're at school. Just wait. I'm oh, going stop to- Oh, stop it. You're not gonna do crap. Are you telling me what to do? Yes. What happened? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, like, did you lose someone? I is someone sick? Is that the only thing that would make you care? Why is it when some people find their voice, it's so annoying? Greer, you never talk like this. What happened? Is it your parents? No. My parents are doctors. Oh. Where? St. Joe's. I've barely talked to them in weeks. They won't tell me anything, but it's written all over their faces. And I know what's going on, but I can't do anything to help. And this just makes me There's feel like... The door. Yes, and knocking loudly. That's rough. So you know it's all hopeless. All this, giving us assignments and trying to pretend that school has any point anymore. But I have... I wanted to have a point. Plus, you guys acted like this before the whole world went on. Kablooey. I guess, but now it's different. Everything is hopeless and we're all lost. Sometimes it feels like that. It's hard to fight. But you have to. You have to fight because we're not lost. We're here. You, you can't let this drag you under. Hope is stronger than hopelessness. It always has been and it always will be. I know it may not seem like that right now, but it's temporary. You never let go of hope. It's a lot coming from someone who's here for the marks. I just want to talk. My parents have decided to handle this by working 18 hours a day in utter silence. <laughs> my mom won't talk either. I'm worried about her. I'm worried about my grandma. She's alone. Yeah. So maybe we could talk about food or movies or music? Something normal. Please. I hate eggplant. It's slimy. I hate eggplant, too. My mom deep fries it, and it doesn't help. I mean, I'm against all vegetables. My mom makes vegetable smoothies that she pretends she didn't put vegetables in. Mine, too. My grandma uh, doesn't hide them. She just stares at me until my guilt can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh, 
It was a signal for Miss D. Was that good? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Look, you can't stop me. I've made up my mind. I've thought about this for a long time. I mean, what else do I have to do? This is my decision and you'll just have to respect it. I'm going to cut my hair. I'm going to do it and whatever happens, happens. I'll live with it. Cause I, I can't live with this. This is driving me mental. You know I'm right. I understand that some may feel that hairdressers are not an essential service, but I'm here to tell you that they are wrong. It is essential that I have someone deal with this, which brings us back to our whole essential, non-essential argument, which no one is going to solve anyway. So it's up to me. I'm the one. I must raise a pair of scissors and deal with the consequences. I understand that some may feel that, you know, this isn't the biggest issue in the world right now. It's got a lot on its plate, but good hair has a place in this world. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> Don't try to stop me. Oh, wish me luck. The human is still here. The human is still here. Why is the human still here? Uh, isn't it so great? It's so great, 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 the great, great, so great. The human always goes away during the day. And now they're not going anywhere. They haven't left the couch in three days. <laughs> well, our human ghost places, we go for walks. It's so great, 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 great. I'm not talking about your pointless meanderings. How am I supposed to properly join the human constantly under demanding snuggles? I don't have time to snuggle during the day. I must survey my domain. This is disrupting my order and we have to find out why. Well, why what? Why the human is still here. <laughs> Isn't it so great? It's so great, 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 great. This is the best time of my life. You think every time is the best time of your life. Five minutes from now is going to be the best time of your life. You have to return order to Lucky. Let me think. Hey, hey, Shadow. 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 Hey, Shadow. Shadow. Hey, Shadow. Get some really important. What? What is it? Our human is here all the time. It's so great. It's so great. Great, 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 great. The human is always busy, always on the go. That was the strategy from the beginning. Keep the human busy so that I may reign in peace. Something must have happened out there. Uh, where? Outside. Huh, outside? <laughs> it kind of looks the same to me. But it's not. It can't be because nothing is the same. The human keeps looking at me and talking to me and expecting snuggles. Order has been lost. This is not normal. Maybe things will never be normal. What? Yeah, you know, it's not like we know them. Maze is going to change our lives forever. And we'll just have to figure it out. And we will. And our humans will. And everybody will. Because that's what humans do. They may whine a little bit. But then they roll up their sleeves and they move on. And we will always move on. <laughs> Lucky? Yeah? Did you, did you just speak deeply? Huh? What? Right. Useless. Have you ever said something out loud, like in a conversation where you were just trying to be funny or 
it controversial or I don't know, hostile. It's, but for fun, you know, spiky, kind of like a hedgehog, only cool. So a cool hedgehog. Yeah, I'll roll with that. Oh my goodness. Speaking of, did you know that a baby hedgehog is actually called a hoglet? Search it up on Google. They are so adorbs. <sighs> Sorry, lost track of myself there. Have you ever wanted to be surrounded by an aura of chaos for a second or go on a hostile adventure? Just a short one. Have you ever wanted to be steeped in unrest, even though you're rather quiet, pretty peaceful and could enjoy a good book on a Friday night. Who knew we'd have so much time to read books these days? You know, if people can sense that you're steeped in unrest, you become cool. Doesn't everybody want that for a few seconds? And I did it for more than a few seconds. I can't wait till the world goes to chaos. I mean, the world's going to hell anyways, better sooner than later. And when it happens, and it will happen. I'm gonna live by my own rules. I'm gonna tell you what a doing disorder is the law of the land. So yeah, people would ask me to say that last bit in the hall is disorder is the law of the land. And here we are, <laughs> chaos, the, the world, me. You know, saying something and actually happening or Two vastly different things. I've discovered over this time that I'm, I'm rather fond of rules and order and going to school. I don't really want a hostile adventure. I just kind of feel so like bad because I wish so hard that it would happen. I, I'm sorry. I take it all back. I take it all back, okay? on are we on i can see and hear you great famine turn your mic on this is gonna take forever well, well what are you in a rush for isn't your part done i'm monitoring the situation there are a lot of moving parts it's a scenario that needs constant attention uh-huh. Besides, maybe I have something else. Maybe I have a date. Do you? Well, no. But I could. Uh-huh. Hey, I can date and end the world at the same time. You know, I am an excellent multitasker. Famine, turn your mic on. Can you hear me? Yes, we got you. This is the 21st century. Why don't you know how to work a computer? Why aren't we meeting in person? Well, death couldn't make it in person. Death can't make it for five minutes. I was looking for to brunch. You could take five minutes to learn how to work a computer. If you're going to start it on me, I'll leave. I've got things to do. What is everyone in a rush for? Just because you're not front and center, per usual. Are you saying I'm jealous of a global pandemic? If the shoe fits. Uh, well. Look, all I'm saying is that someone is not getting employee of the year this year. And someone is totally gonna get it. Um, where's death? I don't know. Oh, wait. Come here. He was in the waiting room. He should be here now. Yeah. Uh, no. No, if they're gonna be pushy. Hey, death. No, no, absolutely not. Tell him no. Look, that's what I'm saying. You can't do, or I can't do everything. You have to learn how to do stuff. Look, I won't be long. Did you send the report to my email? Great, thank you. 
Hey, gang. How goes the battle? Awesome. You have a secretary? Administrative assistant. Why don't I have a secretary? I wish I had to. You know, can we just move this thing along? Fine. I call to order this meeting of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yes, I see your hand. Can we please get through the call to order first? Why do I have to keep bringing this up? It's the 21st century. Yes, we know. Well, we're not all men. And when was the last time any of us were on a horse? It's the name of the organization. Take it up with someone with the higher pay grade or even our HR. Can we please get through the agenda now? Agenda? I didn't get an agenda. I didn't get one either. Did you send it to Jennifer? I'm hungry. Guys, I didn't make an agenda. I didn't think we needed one. Or I wish you'd written one up. I wish I had a BLT. There's only one thing to talk about. It's the only thing anyone's talking about. So you could have taken five minutes. It's not like you're busy or anything. War is happening. War is always happening. Oh, you are jealous. No, no. You don't see me getting all messed up because famine isn't getting any brownie points. Or fess up, you are looking a little green. I'm not. Okay. Can we just get going? Death and pestilence. Get up your reports. Um, I can go. Uh Crap. Guys, I gotta go. I just got an alert. The beaches are open in Florida. I'll have Jennifer Hugh copy my report. Well, my turn. I don't think I need to point this out, but things are going great. Better than great. This pandemic is over the top amazing. Why don't you just shoot us your report too? I'm gonna go make a sandwich. But, but you always wanna hear wars reports. Unfair. I deserve to be part of the agenda. I deserve to be heard. I'm gonna write you all up for this in triplicate. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. It's not like I have much to do, but I'm not jealous. Maybe I could go start a war in Iceland. I am slowly going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, switch. Slowly going crazy, am I? Six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. My dad asks me how I am every day. He's involved. He's always checking in. I say, fine, fine, Dad. Thanks for asking. Doing okay. It's easier to say fine than explain because I should be fine. I should be. There's nothing for me to be unfine about other than quarantine, a virus killing people, and the possible collapse of the economy. But I... I, I should be fine because everyone I know is healthy. Um, my parents haven't lost their jobs. Um, there are more than enough rooms in our house for everyone to have as much personal space as they need. Uh, I got my own laptop. The internet's great. Um, oh, and productive. I should be so productive right now. Um, uh, I could play my guitar. Um, oh, and how many times have I said I need to get better at Spanish? Now's, now's the time. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. 
and I'm not fine. I'm heavy. It takes forever to decide what to wear in the mornings. Listen, listen to me. Poor Dorian, poor you living in your giant house with everything you could ever want. See, I can't tell anyone about this. How my arms are lead, my feet are trapped in cement, and all of the weight is constantly pulling me down. I can't breathe or see daylight anymore. I haven't seen it for weeks. How do I explain that to my dad? And why do I feel so sad when I have everything? Hello? 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 August? Oh, hello, there you are. I mean, I love your house. That is some awesome floor. They are doing such cool things with laminate these days. What do you think you're doing? I mean, I'm inviting myself in, of course. You've been outside and you didn't wear gloves or a mask. That lady coughed and touched the door and did she? Oh man, I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't properly introduced myself. Uh, poor planning on my part, but um, I'm Co. Short for COVID-19. It's not the name I would have chosen, but we do what we can. And uh, you can't come in. <laughs> uh, sure I can. I, I'm in here right now. You know, I'm on you. I'm on you. Did, I mean, did you know that? It's like we're best friends. You know, and it, it, that's how close we are. And it's only a matter of time before we really get to know each other. I haven't touched anything. I, I haven't even touched my face. It's only a matter of time. Not if I wash my hands. Why, why would you want to do that? It's the first thing I do when I come in. It seems obsessive. Look, I don't want to be your best friend. In fact, you interrupted me. Not so fast! Not so fast, not so fast! Before I leave, let's, let's talk. Let's chat. Uh, confab with the COVID. You don't need to wash those hands right away. Well, you're here, so I really do. Oh, I mean, I was just kidding. I'm really not that bad. Millions would say otherwise. Well, I, mean, I, I mean, I can't help it if I'm popular. Well, then you should go and talk to those people. They don't count. They don't count. I want to get to know you. Prepare to be disappointed. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, go wash your hands. See if I care. Go on. Done. Uh, uh, selfie? Uh, sure, wait, no, I'm washing my hands and I'm washing you out of here immediately. Don't be sorry. I have many awesome jokes and I have tons of interesting stories. I'm a pretty fabulous friend. You kill people. That's an unfortunate side effect. Out now. Happy birthday to Don't you. Don't watch for 30 seconds. Happy birthday to you. Not the happy birthday song. Happy birthday. <laughs> Anything but happy birthday. David. I hate happy that song. Happy birthday to you. Scene from a quarantine day. Ugh, who knows? Wednesday, Thursday, soup day? Soup day, really? Okay. Who knew the days of the week would be the first to go? Canceled, just like everything else. I went for a walk today to nowhere, really. I just couldn't sit in my room anymore. There's this girl on my street who's in my... Oh, calculus class. We never talk. We've never talked before. We're not in the same circles. But today, hi, how are you doing? Um, okay. Some days I'm okay. Ups and downs. Me too, me too. They canceled prom. They did? 
Yes, yes, they did. That sucks. I bought a dress. When is this going to end? I don't know. No one does. Ah, that sucks. Yes, yes, it does. Huh, conversation. Who knew I enjoyed that? The sun is still shining. I'm glad it does that.